Okay, guys. I found me a hard drive or hard disk, and I got me a Torx. And guess what I'm about to do? Okay, Seagate, you've been good to my loyal service. 20 gig hard drive, Seagate Barracuda ATA third generation. Well, too bad. Desperate times call for desperate measures, so I gotta disassemble this hard disk here. Because that part there, the body, is aluminum, solid aluminum, once you knock the motor out of it. Get all these screws out. Shop got shut down, so now I'm unemployed. Got to self-employ myself. Find something to do. There you are, you fucker. Why can't they be like Samsung and use Phillips head screws? Why do they always have to be different? Western Dead Jodel and Seagate always have to be different. They always have to use a fucking star head Torx. They always have to go get a fucking special screwdriver to remove them. They even got security Torx for them kind of. The ones with the little thing in the middle. Oh, Kidoki, we're gonna get these out. Now we split this bitch apart. Ugh. Got all the screws out. I gotta go find me a flathead, so I'll be right back. Back. Got the flathead, and we're about to split this bitch apart. So, I'll we'll make sure it's still shining on the hard disk there. It's only a 20 gigger, so I need the, I want the magnets out of it. <laughs> now to get them apart. That one's apart. I'll stick that over there. Gotta get the reader off of it. Shit, I'm gonna have to go get a smaller Torx in a moment. I don't think this one will fit. Wait, maybe it will. Oh, yes, it will. Ooh, they put these on here with an impact, too. Surprises me the people who rebuild these things. 
how they can actually rebuild a hard drive and not actually touch the disk. Get these little screws on here, and you can't you can't get them out without the damn without having to touch the disk. I mean, it's crazy. out. The reader is going to be out. Well, I thought the reader was about to be out. Maybe hooked in from the bottom. Use the Seagate C Shield. Use the Disk Wizard to install this on a Windows 98, Windows ME, or Windows 95 operating machine. There's the reader. Oh, y'all probably didn't see that, but there's the reader. I gotta get one more screw out. And there we go. They got the supposedly called sea shield on there protecting all the circuitry and all that I mean this drive did work I mean but it's only 20 gig oh you don't even sell 20 gig anymore get more money this way. We got circuit boards go with circuit boards and the aluminum goes with the aluminum and the metal goes in the metal and I keep the magnets until I roll on this thing. There we go. The other part of the reader. Goes over there. Oh, time to remove the motor because the motor's got metal on it. Are well, we still recording? Oh, yeah, we still going. Give me a moment. There we go. Turn this way. Gotta take the motor out because, like I said, it's got metal on it. If you, leave, if you leave the motor in it, then that's a dirty piece of aluminum and you don't get as much money for it. Motor should fall right. Oh, hell yeah. I just fell right out of that. Take a magnet. That's just how you test. See? It's all aluminum. Even sounds like aluminum too. So. Well, fellas, that is a Seagate hard disk, 20 gigs. So, there's the shit. Circuit boards will go with circuit boards, aluminum will go with aluminum. I keep the magnets, and then the rest is history. So, well, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video.